this little self-reflection on the video series so far as I uh, arc well past, I think I'm past 300 at this point, or I, it's hard to say, um, but I've done a lot of videos, let's put it that way, and I've, I've written a lot of tweets. So um, is this for the better or should I disappear? <laughs> Let me explain. Hey there, this is Perch. Uh, forgive me for a minute uh, on this video. I'll post this out of sequence, meaning uh, this won't be the only video that I do in a day. So, if, you know, if people like hearing a video every day, but they don't like hearing me talk about myself, then they can easily skip and avoid this one. No harm, no foul. Quite simple. Um, but I like to have these moments. Uh, this is the, the check stop, if you will. And normally this is something I do myself, but I thought, why not do it with everybody? Of, you know, is, am I ca causing net good or net harm or net nothing? You know, is it, is it equal? And, and what I mean by that is I'm investing time into this. And I'm investing your time into this. If you're clicking on these things and you're listening and I have a subscriber count, I have people who are paying attention, um, are they getting something good out of it? Is it just an annoyance? I think there are a lot of people out there who have high subscriber counts, who have high Twitter follower counts and other things, and they just kind of vomit out um, nonsense that either misleads people um, at, at best and just actively irritates people at worst. And no, that's not me casting shade at, at you know a specific individual i'm just talking in general there's a lot of information out on social media and out on the net and uh what what does irk me i guess in the realm of a a very strong pet peeve or, or something i think is really wrong is when people go out and they continuously put out bad information uh, where comics are concerned and the reason why i got into doing this um it really springs from a, a couple different points but a big one was to try and put out more factual information about what's going on in comics, give you a perspective. And I've tried, I think, with mixed success. I think if I'm grading myself on a little report card, I'd say, you know, like a C minus or a D effort of doing a really good job of separating between, hey, this is a fact and, hey, this is an opinion. I blur those things together too much, and I'm going to try and do a better job of separating those two out. Um, but, you know... I, I, I struggle at various times with this, and especially where it comes up is if I'm on Twitter or something, and I, I like, I've got this bit that people have seen where I take a comic panel, um, and then I, I erase the words using Photoshop magic, and then I put in tweets or statements from people. And, and what started me off on this was uh, Chuck Winding, um, who make, basically made some comments about, you know, they're really, really offensive. I mean, you the only people who didn't find them offensive are people who are so far, their head's so far up their own butt that they believe that any kind of angry ranting at anyone who remotely likes Trump is completely okay. That these people who said they, they're for Trump have lost their humanity and their rights to, to anything, and it's perfectly acceptable to uh, just go off on them and you know, wish harm on them and, and say you know, various things, which Chuck Wendig did. And in the process also compared himself to a hero. Like I am a, I am a superhero. This is something that, you know, various people who've gone on Twitter rants um, on all sides, pro Trump and anti Trump have done. They often like to drop in things like I'm the real hero here, or history will remember us as the hero. Um, I, I don't know for, for me in my life, uh, so, you know, guy in his forties, um, I, I just want to be, I just want to have some kind of value. I, I don't think about things like, well, history remember me as a hero. I mean, odds are history won't remember me at all. If you know, 200 years from now, I'm not, you know, my, my, hopefully my, my generational, you know, uh, offspring and, and those people kind of have some vague memory of me, but they're, but I'm not sitting here obsessed with, am I on the right side of history? I'm, I'm trying to be on the right side of now. That's that's really all that I try and do, because to try and do more than that is is to kind of give yourself a lot more meaning and prominence than maybe you you deserve. I think that if you are focusing on kind of the big picture, the being on the right side of history, a lot of those people start to lose focus on you know what they're doing today. And are they making the world a better place today? Or are they, have they justified a bunch of nasty, selfish behavior with the, well, it'll all work out in, in, you know, in decades? I'm getting a little off track. But 
I, I want to make sure that in these videos, in these series, that I am holding myself to a, a pretty high standard, not because I want to be on the right side of history or anything like that, but because I want to do net good. You know, I, I think the, uh, but I was, I was getting to that. I'm, I'm all over the place uh, today. Sorry. Um, I was getting to this bit I do where I take the words and I put them in these panels and I do that. And I thought it was a good juxtaposition because people who are saying, I'm just like Superman, I'm just like Captain America, I'm the hero here. It's like, well, let's let's see your words coming out of the hero's mouth and, and give you a very strong visual of, you know, Captain America asking somebody to eat his butt. Or does that does that sound like a hero? Does it sound like a heroic statement? Maybe you need just a little jarring kind of wake up call to say, this isn't heroic behavior. This is this is causing net bad. And um, in almost every case, that's offended people. You know, Chuck Wendig certainly you know, blocked me immediately. Uh, Gail Simone uh, blocked me for you know, making fun of Chuck Wendig. Um, it wasn't, again, it wasn't making fun of anybody. It's like, it's literally saying, you said these words. Let's see these words coming out of a hero's mouth because you're calling yourself a hero. Let's see what that looks like. And can you, can you look at yourself in the mirror? You know, I, can you do that? And for a lot of people, the answer is no. You know, for, for Winding and Simone and, and some others, the answer was no. Um, to their credit, and uh, the creator asked me not to, you know, mention it. I don't know why. I think it's honorable. Um, one of the creators that uh, made some nasty comments on Twitter, I put their words into Spider-Man's mouth, posted it up, and the creator wrote and said, hey, thank you. I, I didn't realize I was sounding like an asshole. I, you know, I get so caught up in things. It's caused me to take another look at things. And the person has backed away a lot. I've noticed on their feed that they're, you know, sticking more to comics. They're trying to be a little nicer to people they disagree with. Or if they feel themselves getting heated, they just mute. Um, and I hope you're listening. If you are, uh, say something. I think what you did was noble. And I think, you know, there will certainly be some people who are going to always hold you to the worst thing you ever said. But the fact that you grew and learned from it, or at least you found some value, I think is a good thing. So keep on keeping on. I mean, it, you should... You should come out with that. I'll respect your wishes, but you should come out with it. Um, I, I think, but the other side effect of those panels is that it's often served as a jumping on point for people to just rail and go off and, and be nasty in return. Um, I think these things are absurd when you take these words and you put them in the panels, um, but it, it's not meant to be, you know, a, a justification for people to, again, create their own nastiness. So whenever I do that and I get that kind of response, I always, I always question if I should keep doing it because it feels like I'm creating uh, as much bad as good. I don't know if other people think this way. Hopefully not. Uh, maybe this is just a you know, neurotic way of being. But I think that you know, comics are meant to be entertainment. They're meant to be communication. They're meant to be things that we enjoy, things that we pass around, ways that we interact with each other. And I think that it, it's it's right to enjoy them. It's right to poke fun at them at times. It's right to to try and treat them for the, as the entertainment vehicles that they are. I think that's that's what comics are for. And so hopefully, you know, we can get back to that more and and try and 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 view comics that way. Take ourselves all a little bit less seriously. Um, but I, I am going to try my best in terms of videos. Like I said, to to designate between. This is a fact. This is something that is you know, proof. This is an opinion. This is something that, you know, my view of things and try and separate the two. Um, every now and then people come onto the videos in the comments and they say things like, uh, I got one when I, when I reviewed Watchmen, um, I got somebody who came in and said, see, this is why I hate you. I hate, you know, reading this makes me hate you even more. It's like, okay, then dude, um, don't listen to the video. Seriously. Don't, don't listen to me. If, if I, if you, I make you angry and, and you want to destroy or you hate things that don't, don't listen to it. And I, I want to give that advice to everybody, whether it's me or whether it's anyone, don't listen to things that intentionally make you, you, you know, break out in rage. There's a lot to be angry about in our world. There's a lot of random events that happen, you know, troubles at work, troubles at home, um, issues with parents or with children. Uh, you, you get a, a jerk of a boss. You have somebody who, isn't paying attention and crashes into you with your car. You have, you have natural disasters. You have, you know, politicians doing terrible things and making choices that negatively impact our lives. There's a lot of bad things in the world we have to deal with. We can't necessarily avoid. So 
being angry on social media or on YouTube um, and, and, and digesting that anger, uh, there's a whole thing about hate listening. And that's where you, you just, you, you d- deliberately consume things that make you kind of red hot with rage and you get kind of addicted to, to listening to things that make you actively angry. It's um, some uh, people who are on the left uh, liberals have said that about Rush Limbaugh's show that they, they get really, really mad when they listen to him, but they can't not listen. And it's like, you know, don't do it. Try, try and avoid, don't become that person. It's not healthy. I'm just a bit of advice, you know, for what it's worth. Um, keep yourself free from that. It's, it's not good for you. No good comes of it. And you, you both lose perspective in the world and in your life. And you're not, you're not feeding yourself with anything that's going to do you any good. You're just being angry all the time. Um, that's, that's my bit of advice. Take it or leave it for what it's worth. Um, but I, I, I do, as I've asked for in the past, I really appreciate um, suggestions, things that you want to, you know, to hear about, to listen, how you want to steer, more reviews, less reviews, more talks about the business, less talks about the business. Um, I, I always appreciate things I could be doing better. Uh, to make the channel more successful, to make the the videos uh, better, easier to share, things I can weed out from others. That that is a good thing, uh, and I, I appreciate all of your advice. At the same time, I'm not obsessed with growing this thing to 20,000 subscribers or 100,000 or a million. I'm not obsessed with uh, growing the subscriber count. I'm obsessed with is the content that's being put out um, making the subscribers who are jumping in happy? Are they, are they liking what they're hearing? Is there, is there entertainment value? Much like comics, are you entertained? I uh, want you to be entertained. Anyway, thanks for listening to all this. Um, like, like I said, love your suggestions, love your feedback. Anything you want to toss my way, uh, I will happily uh, listen and take it. And even if it's, you know, I, I hate you, I hate your, uh, what was it? What I should do a review of the, the different quotes I've gotten. Somebody said, uh, Perch is a, uh, or, or they're talking about somebody else's show, and they're like, "You're you're a less queer version of Perch." <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, oh, I just got demonetized uh, for that word, probably. Um, okay, cool. I should do a little like a, a review section at the start of this video. I don't know. Pretty soon we're going to change up. I'm going to have new theme music and everything else. I've got some people who contributed some things. Um, I don't know where these these videos ultimately fall. So some new stuff is coming. I changed look and feel about every. Oh, 50 videos or so, maybe more than that. Um, so anyway, thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing. Follow me on Twitter, Comic Birch, or leave me a comment. As always, thank you.